Well, good morning, guys. Yeah, once again, Copart has sent me to get a burned up rig. This was a Jeep Wagoneer. I didn't even know they made those anymore. But, yep. Tacoma to go pick up. So this was for a scooter. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Strap it down just to be safe, but if anyway, it's going to go anywhere to go into my cab guard. Just wish it would go in a little bit further. Make it easy. <clears throat> We're going to use the Rhino USA shackle here to recover this cover this to get it on my truck. Because I really don't want to be reaching underneath this thing and fairly straight so we'll see how it goes that easy. Oh, 
pull off anything that might fly off. Definitely, uh, definitely get in trouble for that. There we go. I think we got it. Luckily it's all wet, so hopefully it won't be flying around. I had to pull down steps. This is Check to make sure that that's seated really well. Want those to come loose. Nope. Luckily, there's clearance for the. Uh, 
forklift to get under it. Don't have enough to get another clip in there. Good to go. I hope you guys are having a good morning and not sure if I'll uh, film the Tacoma or not to the residents. So sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, depending on the customer. Alright, we'll see you guys soon. So we're at the next one. We got this little uh, Tacoma with some front end damage. They were nice enough to look like pull the bumper out for me, unless it that happened from the accident. It's like hit a pole or something and across the window.
<laughs> right there on the edge again. I am very good at just barely getting there. Or barely missing it. thing blowing apart or blowing out. Yeah. We'll just put it all in there. This will be safe. And all I gotta do is make a phone call, but there we go. There. And I know I probably don't need to, but I'm gonna grab a zip tie anyway for that hood. things flapping around.
nice thing about these straps, you don't have to worry about all this wiring and e-brake cables and all that stuff. The chain getting caught on, or the hook getting caught on it, or something like that. Just makes it so much nicer. And if the truck comes off, that's probably not going to matter anyway. So yeah, <clears throat> that's why I like those straps. somewhere else, shall we? Here. junk on there. feet or 20 miles or 200 miles or whatever you uh, you need to do this you need to strap your steering wheel um, go inside of that that's not Doing the lock is not enough. It just isn't. Something I always forget. Okay, it's all the way down. I always forget to lower the steering wheel down. There we go. If it does come loose, it's not going to turn far enough. Not be able to turn far enough to do anything. Just enough to get him off the driveway. Oh, there 
airbags pull forward and get level, and then we'll figure out where the right height of the chains are. Something to help me remember. And of course, this one comes off. All right. Go down a little bit. I think that's got it. We are out of here. Clear off the camera. with you when I'll get back with you when I get to the yard and we get this taken off so until then I will see you guys later guys so got the Toyota dropped now we're out over here to uh, unstrap and everything we'll have the loader take this off it's gonna be a lot easier but it has gotten cold it is starting to rain I'm sure you can tell by the breeze on the camera. Right, it's time to put my jacket on. There we go. That'll help a little bit.
box is getting all cluttered back up again with the condor in there. Of course, we're not really doing motorcycles anymore, so. That's got some hail to it. Yep, there it comes. Went through a hell of a hailstorm by uh, Roseburg. Caused an accident on the freeway. Alright, it's all clear. Let's see if I may get a second to do it. Gotta forget it pressed up. Oh, Nelly. It says it's well the truck says it's a 51 out there, but I don't know. The snow on the passes earlier. away with a side-by-side -side with snow tracks on it. I was looking at that one hard, wondering if it would, uh, what it'd sell for. I didn't, uh, better get online and take a look, but, um, anyway, once we get started here, I'll get back to you. Huh? Yeah. All right, thanks. That's a uh, a new guy, I think. The other guys uh, know when we're sitting here, but. Tilt, tilt. This way, down. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Yep, definitely a new guy. I'm gonna have to talk to Tyler about that. Uh, normally to just set it down and then I'm able to put the sticker on it, but he's gonna take it over and put it over there. Oh, 
stickers are pain in the butt in the, the weather. What you basically do is just stick them on and try to push the water out from under them. Anyway guys, so now that I have some uh, added damage to my truck, I'll uh, end it there and just a little bit there, nothing serious, doesn't look like it did anything else to it, so just edit it a little bit. Luckily, these are a little stronger than the ones we had on four. And the light bar is still straight, so. Alright. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, we're getting really close to the thousand mark. Try to be a little bit more consistent on, uh, on posting. Um, it's been kind of hard. Um, I gotta be careful with this camera because it's not uh, not waterproof or water resistant or anything. So it uh, it won't last long in the, the pouring rain. So uh, hopefully I can get some stuff. I keep getting stuff, I should say. Uh, but for now, uh, again, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Uh, Y'all be safe. Uh, we got snow in the passes here, so if you're local or up in the higher elevation, be careful. Winter's here. <laughs>